train fever time and well lots going on lots of people waiting I think we're gonna have to definitely upgrade our trains and not even just add more trains I think we're just gonna get bigger which is what we want because right now we're managing our 60 so I mean yeah 70 people are waiting he's gonna pick up quite a bit but so basically my point there is let's go visible only trains let's just look at our trains first kind of just do a catch-up episode I mean I've been getting so much feedback on this and everything's going really really well so I really appreciate it we're almost at the point where we need to expand our cargo on the other side of the region but I did some big stuff off camera I know I know off camera stuff but I wanted to really get it nice and clean and it really makes it for a little bit more entertainment if I can kind of show you more of the zoomed in stuff and hopefully everyone kind of crosses here and this guy moves on his way here <laughs> this is a little dangerous a little dangerous well you know it is what it is and yes I'm watching my goods because I want to keep an eye on my household goods which is the name of the game I've been increasing a lot of stuff already off of just railroads let's go road only uh, yeah check it out I've been adding a lot of vehicles on each of these lines just to keep up we're almost at a 30 second interval frequency on these but they're all making really good money we have some of the loops which are expansion loops help promote growth that's why those are losing money but other than that things are going well now I'm curious how you guys are doing yay more cars available uh, with the cargo mod if you run into any snags here's how I'm doing 100 out of 200 notice how I'm straight at 100 everything seems fine but there is a limiter here and that's and I'm limiting all my all my stuff so what I hit was my sawmill was actually I just not enough trucks so it lost the line usage now I'm waiting the six months for it to upgrade so here's my bottleneck the sawmill so always go back through if you have some weird issue happening at your at your household goods most likely the problem is a little bit further upstream and you can just kind of solve it that way so in six months we're gonna be able to break that 100 barrier and get everything going again now let's take a ride on the loop which line five Oh, used to be line five. I've 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 done better. I've done better. It is now El Salinas Daily Goods <laughs> because it actually hits those three cities and it's the goods. Let's find the big bad boy, the tall Paul. But shout out to Steve Plays, the two dollar hauler goods. I'm kind of adding a little flavor on that, but for uh, my first loyal Patreon member, so always. I appreciate it guys remember you can do some little subscriptions and uh, help donate where you can you can do it either through PayPal or my patreon account I always have those links but definitely no need I'm doing this just for you guys entertainment I enjoy this this is a really fun hobby but of course all those donations and pledges and things like that it's gonna go towards better material more video games and better content and we'll hopefully get some more free giveaways and things because of that as well so let's go ahead and hunt down the tall Paul so thanks again Steve plays always fun I'm gonna get some of your screenshots you said you were gonna send me some from some of your train fever build out now that you picked it up train fever was just on sale for like 10 bucks the other day on Steam so still having some good deals on it we're slowly closing these out but this is the tall Paul. I'm also going to close out the cargo line here and let me explain what's happening as we explore. This is going to be really nice because as you can see we're going to go one speed faster. We have our household goods right up here, our items. Now we're doing a little river crossing coming up on the depot which we still need to do a little bit more work on that little center there but here is our fancy station. I got a new mod that makes the cash register noises go away. It doesn't get rid of the green and red noises, but it at least gets rid of that. 
and then hopefully the audio is doing pretty good. I'm just kind of going for it. I really want to get this episode out. I know my headphones aren't on, so there's probably a little bit of echo. I do apologize for that, but we'll clean things up. So here is where the tall, the Paul gets himself started. This is old news, right? You remember this? We were just going along this line. Nothing too crazy. I upgraded the steel trains, by the way, added some more of the new stake cars, which is great. I'm really excited to get new trucks or to enter Urban Mod that uh, I got, you know, turned on to by Paul. Another good comment on requesting some mods. Uh, so we're going to be getting that one not too far off. And that's a tram that not only does passengers, but it does goods. So we might be able to switch that up and maybe for those two initial cities, have them running goods to the cities with trams first time ever. So that'll be fun. Uh, so this is still pretty familiar here. There's our steel. Nice little flyby here. Uh, one of the other mods, oh man, I can't even... The, notice all the icons are different. I've got to post the name of the mod below. Uh, I've got something that helps all the textures, uh, helps try to improve the quality a little bit of the in-game uh, play, and it changed all the icons. Really nice to see the difference between the trams and the trucks, and it might be a little shocking to start, but then it grows on you. So this is what's, I'm gonna go to a little half speed so we get a little bit more frame rate here and have it looking a little nice. This is a little flyby from last episode. We got our graveyard and church with the sunrise in the background. I have rebuilt this line to where the goods is now going to be a big loop. We're not going to just stop here and head back. I've connected the line here. We're going to share it with the passenger line. Which Let's see if we see him coming in. Nope, that is our pig iron. We have two trains on that line, so we're still keeping an eye on everything. Uh, so what's nice is, this is a little crazy here. We have the passenger line go on the inner track there. My goods line goes in here, but just under the bridge. And that's just because of how I had already built that bridge out. He cuts on the outside. I know it's a little ineffective. However, it gets him off that line, and the other, the silver toe, can just hop right in here, and it's all good. So this is looking fancy. So this is now the new route, all new for you guys, of what happens with the goods. I've got three trains on this one. Uh, the Bandito, the Steve Plays, $2 Holler, and then this uh, the Tall Paul. So let's go full speed again. And this is a little bit different. I don't usually follow an entire line, but this was such a big build, and I kind of skipped the whole actual build of it, so I want you to see the whole thing. So I'm not skipping anything, so... Ah, yes, the wonderful updates here. Also, 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 what do you guys think about me playing something a little bit different? I picked up A-Train 9 version 4, the Japan mod one, or whatever it is. Interesting game. I actually started playing it out a little bit. I had to actually go check out some uh, Colonel Failure videos. He also does some really good Train Fever stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to work out a little uh, multiplayer or something, I don't know. That'll be something fun down the line. Uh, but yeah, it's just a fun game, but he's got some good videos on this A-Train version 3. But version 4 just came out, so I went back, got some good tips on his videos, and now I think, I don't know, I might have to go do some of my own videos. And we just got it, 1896, we have a better road vehicle, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. I hope you saw that stop right there, that was a quick one, Salinas. Here's the last stop. This was tough. I dug into the ground for the goods. For the good of the goods. We have the snowy mountains in the background. Uh, but just to keep it so it didn't slow it down so much, let's see if I even have any goods left. No, I don't. But that's because he's a big, tall Paul. And this was why I have... Now we'll take a big look at it. I go here. It hits up El Paso. It hits up Salinas. And then it comes back and hits up Daly City. Now if you look, he is still getting 13. The other train is getting him. I might add a fourth train, but I don't think that's the issue. The issue is the tall Paul wasn't a full train when he left. It's not like all those goods went away. The issue was, back to it, now that we've been going full speed, maybe this fixed some stuff, or maybe broke everything. Nope. Our household items are now at 107, highest ever. And a big thanks goes out to the sawmill that's running and trucking. 
So as you can see, it just came down to trucks, you know, being able to carry four each, you have to pack it up so much. Look at this. I probably have 20 on this line, but when you need 107 oil, so let's see what we got. Let's see if I got that new tram before I jump out of this and start building other stuff. So build trams. Uh, we have the San Diego electric trolley, so I don't have the the mod train yet. Maybe that's in the 1920s or something like that. But we did grab, let me just say like go to oil, crude oil. Wow, this is a tough one. I just built new trucks on all these, so they are gonna get a little mixed and matched, but that's fine. I'll be able to work it out. We'll go crude oil, let's just see the improvement. And that'll probably be an off-camera one. Look at this. Instead of going with four, we'll go with six. But instead of going nine miles per hour, we're gonna go 16. So it's really gonna up the pace, which is what we need now. I almost overexpanded with the goods because now look, I'm supporting one, two, three, four, five, six cities already. And I only am producing 100 goods. So it seems like I'm doing really well, but I'm actually falling behind. All these cities are spreading out maybe 15 to 20 each and that makes it so my trains aren't profitable. So we're gonna get it working. This is where it is. I like to just keep my items open here just to continue to see, okay, it's 108 ah, at the end of every month. Does it slowly increase? And it is already 1896, so things are going well. Let's just make some money. We're at 107 million, million. Let's go ahead and just do some cleaning. Let's just mess around a bit. And yes, 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 yes. We'll do that. I uh, clean up all this kind of stuff. If it doesn't work, I like using this little brush. Do, do, do. So yeah, it doesn't clean up and plop down perfect. Easy fix though. See, nothing, nothing we can't fix like a little Bob Ross painting. Here we go. Happy, happy trains, happy bushes. All right, now, man, if I could plop trees, I would go a little happy, though. I'd go tree crazy and paint the whole thing and lag up my game. Uh, let's see. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Let's just random stuff. Let's go with, hmm, some wood stuff. I don't Oh, you know what? Where's the, uh, yes, we've got to deck this place out. This is our, our planks and wood so we're gonna add a lot of wood vehicle in the way all right that's the kind of issues i like to see we're gonna add add some extra bonus cool stuff like this let's see where it's gonna look good Ooh, maybe maybe something here oh that's crazy i like that though and all this stuff, you know, we'll keep cleaning it up. That's what I like to do, just mess around. This is kind of off-camera stuff I do sometimes too, just to let the money rack, it, rack in. Because if I'm not doing this, I'm spending money. I don't know about you. Uh, what else could we add? Not too much, not too much. I'm more just going for trying to add some more train mods. Nice little run there. Ooh, look at that, we got our other train train in the sunset is this the steve no this is the bandito because it is you don't ask questions where those goods came from so things are going well we're up to 110 with our household items i'd like to see that continuing to go on the little people icon the people icons you know what i'm saying they stand out a lot more with this mod that shall be put in the about section below. And yeah, it makes it easy just to spot out where am I kind of hurting, but it's tough. I'm actually doing okay here. Yeah, I've got 36 people waiting, but what I did here, the silver toe, oh yes. He's up here, no he's not. He's lost. I lost a train. How were you hidden in right in the middle? Okay, I don't know. I'll go back. I'll see. I think it was a ghost train. Maybe it's because Halloween's coming up. Speaking of 
Man, what do you guys do for Halloween? You guys go to like crazy parties and the shenanigans or just throw candy at children or toilet paper people's trains or whatnot? I don't know. I'm probably doing a little mix of throwing candy at people and taking my kid out and doing all that kind of stuff. Should be fun. Don't know what I'm going to be, if anything. <laughs> but we shall see. This is the Silver Toe, and he holds 80, so I'm not doing too shabby. I liked it. It's a little bit different of a, a style here. It's not the classic uh, modded-out iron horse that I've been using all over. Ah, oh, see, all that ding, 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 ruined it. This guy's chill. Likes going for his little lunchtime walk and uh, watching the train run by. Contemplating if he should jump into the river for a nice swim. I have no idea, but the money just keeps pouring in. Well, we could go back to my little offshoot before, which is this lovely place up here, and uh, do something over here in Miami. Ding, ding, ding. We've got our trolleys going. This is all going pretty well. We could follow these guys around. See, let's move this over here. Just kind of follow them through. I'm hide the menu a little bit there. Yeah, see, I think we did this last time, but it's always fun to do it again. Kind of get a, a few little weird graphical things, but it is what it is as I always say. And train number three, if you support today, <laughs> you too can name a train. And this could be yours compared to train number three. Train number three? Question mark? I don't know. Is it? Is it train number three? It's the little train that could not make it up this hill though. Man, it's struggling. I like it. This is train fever roller coaster style. All right, well, things are getting crazy. I think I'm going to cut this one short because I feel terrible. I just can't stand doing like 45 minute episodes, things like that. I like to keep them short and sweet and fun and fantastic. Uh, another fun episode. Thanks for hanging out with me again. I'm getting just excited with how things are going here. I've really got a kickstart the goods over here. Uh, here's it. Here's it. What's going to happen? Thousand Oaks. Household items. Going to be the big player over here. But I want to wait and see if I can hook it all up with those tram goods. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm going to expand out more on my passenger lines and tram circles and everything like that. I swear it looks like aliens came and just did a bunch of crop circles. But I swear it was just me and my crazy road designs. We'll see what happens next episode. Thanks for coming by again. As always, share, like, do whatever you please. I always enjoy that you guys keep coming back and keep on training. Peace out.